Suicide. What's up, everybody? This is Techno Blast on Technos Gaming. You know, if you're a member of Xbox and have uh, Xbox Live, Xbox Gold, Xbox uh, Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you know that the game saves just kind of transition to all those services pretty easy. If you're playing a game that you purchased and you, and you have a, a save file for that game, you can go to another Xbox, sign in with your account and pick off where you left off. If you sign in with your phone or your tablet or pretty much any mobile device and do X cloud gaming on the Xbox ecosystem, you can pick off where you left off. You can pick up where you left off. There's no jumping through hoops to get that save file over to all the different mediums of you playing your game. So within the Xbox ecosystem, it just simply works. It doesn't matter if you have an Xbox series, download a game, or you just sign up for the Xbox Game Pass service so you can have xCloud and game on your phone or any type of mobile device. It doesn't matter. Your save file travels with you on the device that you're on. However, it seems like on the Sony side, the PlayStation side, you have to jump through hoops to get that same save that you played on either the cloud or your console and have it go with you. So here's a little support from a little support page from PlayStation. PlayStation Plus saved games or saved data works differently depending on whether you are streaming or playing a downloaded game. So now there's a difference between the game, whether it's streaming or downloaded. This is the same thing where it's between xCloud and a game that you downloaded on your console. That's what they're saying. If you are streaming a PlayStation Plus game, the save game, the save data will be stored on your PlayStation network. You can pick up your stream on another device and continue your game without taking any further steps. If you are playing a downloaded P PlayStation Plus game, the save data will be saved to the console storage of your PlayStation 5 or your PlayStation 4 console. Save data is not automatically transferred between streamed and downloaded games, but you can transfer save data using PlayStation Plus cloud storage. To transfer save data between game types, first upload the save data to the, to the cloud storage and then download it to the to your device. So what they're saying here is, if I downloaded a game on my PlayStation 5, I played it, I got a game a save file generated, and if I'm traveling around and I want to play a save on my computer or my mobile device or however the the PlayStation Cloud works, before you head out the door on your travel day, you have to upload that save file from your console over to the up uh, and, and then bring it down to your second device okay so this is not in sync so if you continue and when you're traveling around and you continue playing on your device you're playing your game you have you know progressed in your game now you come back home and you jump on your playstation 4 your playstation 5 you don't get that same progressive progression you don't get that same game save, save file that you had on your phone on your other device. That means you got to upload it again from the device you were playing on when you were traveling up to the cloud and then download it back to the console. That way it replaces whatever save file was there from days ago. And they actually have <laughs> steps on how to do that. For a company like Sony, who's been around for many years, I can't believe they can get this right. It's a big cluster F of how they implemented their network, their, their cloud storage, their game saves, and people somehow still defend this practice. Whereas on Xbox side, it just works. There's no jumping through hoops. There's no downloading to anything. There's no uploading or downloading anything. All you have to do is sign in with your account and you're ready to go. That is it. But it seems on the PlayStation side, you literally have to jump through hoops to get that save file from one device to 
to one another. It is not automatic, nothing. That's sad for some, for this console being so-called next gen or current gen console. It is a pathetic console and a pathetic implementation of their game saves. They should have done a better job and Sony fans should ask for better. They should demand better from Sony instead of having to jump through hoops to get that game, that save file over to one from one device to the other. It should be seamless. It should be easy. It should just simply work. And PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 does not do that. All right, guys, tell me what you think down below. Hope you liked this video. Remember to always comment, like, to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.